I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a practice question for you to find dot product of vectors. The question here is calculate the dot product of following vectors a u is 2 minus 3 v is 5 4 b u is 1 2 minus 3 v is minus 2 0 minus 4 and c u is 2 minus 3 v is 3 minus 2. I would also like you to explain your results, right? So it is calculate the dot product of the following vectors and explain results. Okay, let's do the first one. Vector u dot vector v is 2 minus 3 dot 5, 4, right? So 2 times 5 is 10, so it is 2 times 5 plus minus 3 times 4 and that gives us 10 plus minus 12, the result is minus 2. The next one here is in R3, we've got x, y, z components. So in this case, uh, let me do it here, okay. Okay, let's do it here. U dot V is equals to 1, 2, minus 3 dot minus 2, 0, minus 4. 1 times minus 2, I'm writing straight, is minus 2. 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12. You could do that, right? And when you add them up, what do you get? 12 minus 2 is 10. The next one here is u dot v is product of 2 minus 3. What do you expect here? I think you expect 0, right? These two vectors seem to be perpendicular vectors. Let's see. 2 times 3 is 6, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, and you get 0, right? Now, what you observe here is that in the first case, the dot product is negative. Here it is positive. So we get a negative result. We get this is negative, this is positive, and this one is zero. That is what you get. Now what does it mean? Dot product u dot v is magnitude of u times magnitude of v times cosine theta. Now, as far as cos theta is concerned, let me just sketch here the cosine graph. Cosine graph is kind of like this. Right? Now, if you're considering angle between 0 to 180 degrees, then you see at 90 cos theta is 0 but before 90 is positive after 90 is negative so here it really means that the two vectors the angle between these two vectors is greater than 90 degrees so here we see the theta is greater than 90 degrees in this case the angle between them is less than 90 degrees right and here angle theta is equal to 90 degrees. So in the third case, where the vectors are 2 minus 3, 3 minus 2, you just change the position and change one of the signs. In that case, we get that two vectors are perpendicular. So these two vectors are orthogonal. We use the term or perpendicular. Okay. When you get negative or positive results, it doesn't mean that the quantity is vector. It's a still scalar quantity, okay? So minus 2 is a scalar quantity. It's just a number. 10 is also a number, scalar quantity, right? 0 is also a number, scalar quantity. So dot product results into a scalar quantity. It could be negative, positive, or 0. If it is negative, it really means that the angle between the two vectors is greater than 90 degrees. If it is positive, the angle between the two vectors, when placed tail to tail, let me write down this. 
So theta is angle when vectors are placed tail to tail. This is important to understand, right? Tail to tail. And theta could be between 0 to 180 degrees. If it is greater than 90 degrees, then the result will be negative, as in part A. If the angle is acute angle, then the result is positive. And if it is a right, if these factors are at right angles, then the dot product will always be 0. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. You can always share my videos and post questions. Thank you and all the best.